What's up YouTube? I'm Robert and this is the Biker Channel B1. Today I'm heading to Tahoe for the first time this season and let me tell you, I'm freaking stoked. <laughs> The best part of spring is when the snow finally melts and you get to make that first trip up to Tahoe. You get away from the heat, the poison oak, and reunite with the trails you haven't been on in months. When that time came this year, a buddy told me about a ride I've never been on, and that's all I needed to hear before I was on the road. This is Angora Ridge. It's basically on the other side of 50 from the Armstrong and Corral trails that most riders are familiar with. There's a small parking lot by the Sawmill Pond that you can park at and quickly pedal over to the trails. Obviously, that's where I'm parked at. You can read it, I can't say it. Saw, oh, I wanna say Saw Hill so bad. Sawmill Pond, there we go. I don't understand there's like this magical place inside of your shoe. You can turn it upside down and shake it and somehow the, all the rocks don't come out. And then you turn it right side up. It's like right back there again. You're like, what the side. fuck is going on here? <laughs> Once you're over there, you can decide if you want to do the short, steeper climb or the longer, mellow climb. We opted to go up the steeper one. Anybody else want to get on the complain train with me? <laughs> I recently switched to a 34 tooth chain ring up front and although it's good most of the time, sometimes not so much. Now I bike a ride without a hike bike. Doesn't matter what kind of shape I'm in, still can't fix stupid. <sighs> Once you get to this intersection, you can flip a coin and take one of the two trails over to the neighborhood. Honestly, Devron Connector looked way cooler on the map than it actually played out to be, but hey, it's just a connector trail. After speeding down the road, we got the Angora Ridge Road. Is it a fire road like this? I suppose, at this point, you could climb the actual trail as an out and back. This is the fire road that we're gonna make sweet love to for the next couple of miles. <laughs> However, we opted just for climbing the Angora Ridge Road. This feels like the kind of road that people get murdered on. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> it's uh, lowering my... Uh... My a little bit. Is it like too early in our friendship for me to start talking crazy? <laughs> for being at elevation and the fact that it's literally a mountain you're climbing, this climb wasn't bad at all. When you get to the top, you'll notice this sign on the right hand side. That's the entrance to Lower Angora Ridge Trail. If fun is all you care about, don't bother with the rest and take that trail down. If you're going to go all the way to the end, don't take the road like we did. I would recommend jumping on the Upper Angora Ridge Trail and doing that as an out and back. Basically, the road kind of descends from there and you're ultimately just turning around to climb back up to the top of the hill. Although it's peddly, the views from that side of the hill, they really are stunning. Once we made our way back to the top of the hill, you know, that sign I was talking about, we crossed the road and I quickly realized that this is where the fun is at. Look at that backdrop. I know, right? We're really standing in my garage, green screen. <laughs> All right, let's get down to that 10 tooth. Well, this is fun. I'm not complaining about this. As you can see, this trail is sprinkled with lots of baby heads and is in a constant state of turning right and left. Because of the turns, you aren't bombing down the hill, but actively nice. steering. Pretty active. Good turns. Although the dirt looks dry, it's actually hooking up pretty good right now. So it's not like blown out sandy like it gets in the summer up here. This is pretty fun. It's like not super chunky, as you can see, but it's like chunky enough that it's, it's rowdy. And it's like little poppers, but the trail's like super active. All these little turns, like right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh. 
Holy cow. Whew. That, uh, how put it working on your hands, dude? My hands are aching. Yeah. After we got to the bottom, we backtracked through the neighborhood and back to the intersection we were at earlier. Then after finishing our climb to the top, we decided to stop and check out the views. Wow. While we were up there, we noticed the trail that we were told was under snow still wasn't. So we headed over that way. A little bit now. Well, if the descent we're about to do is gonna be like this, it's gonna be pretty fun. Right about now is when I tell you that overall, this was a flowing, bombing descent that I truly enjoyed most that day. I'm normally a guy that prefers chunky rides and if I was betting, I would have told you that Angora Ridge would be my favorite. However, for whatever reason, that wasn't true. What was true is that even though I've been doing YouTube for several years, I still make mistakes. And instead of filming this descent, I accidentally did a time lapse. So take my word for it, this run is fast and fun. After crushing that descent, you could pedal back to the car easily. However, we were in for a little more downhill, so we decided to turn around and climb right back up it. I hate to be that YouTuber that's just like, send me money, send me money, join my Patreon. However, there's your disclaimer. I'm gonna be, this is the deal, man. I'm 44 this year and I've always told people my whole life, chase what you're passionate about and you can be successful. When I was younger, it was music and then it was computers and I feel like now it's YouTube. You guys are really the ones at this point that are gonna help me take this to the next level. And what I need is, I need that support on, on Patreon to get me there. So if you got any extra change dangling around in your pockets and you wanna give to a charity, how about an old dude who likes beer and riding bikes as much as you? All right, ran over, back to the climb. Although you're making your way back up to the top of the hill, there are a few little fun downhill sections along the way. <laughs> Once at the top of Tahoe Mountain North, the legs were definitely starting to check out. All right. So we headed down Tahoe Mountain South. Trust that grip. Dig those side knobs in. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Up in that corner. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the Tahoe I remember. Good and sandy. Definitely a fun trail. This is like that. I mean, you could bring a, a beginner up this. Whoa, as long as they can make the climb. Oh, thanks guys. Last one. Thank you, last one. That was rad. I feel like there should be a PSA launched to change the rules where the downhillers always get the right away. We should make a hashtag or something. Somebody tell me a good hashtag for the comments. We ended up getting about 3,000 feet of climbing. Right now, whew, three hours into the ride. 16 miles just about so that's pretty fun that's a good day man 
I'm tired. Yeah. Oh, this guy. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And boom, we back. Well, there you have it. Definitely check out Angora Ridge and the surrounding trails. It's one of those spots in Tahoe that's easy for most skill levels, has great views, but it's still fun enough to keep the more advanced riders entertained. Perfect. That was freaking rad. Yeah, dude. Boom. That was super fun. Yeah. I'm glad there wasn't snow on that other side too. We got yeah. good Yeah, no, dude. We uh we totally lucked out. Definitely stoked. Oh, where's the good sun? Oh, there's the good sun? That's the good sun? No, it's just shade everywhere. What the hell? So, you would think out of all the years that I've been doing YouTube that I'd get my shit together. I can't get a whole sentence without saying some kind of bad word. All these years of doing YouTube, you would think two things would happen. I could stop cussing and I could get the sunlight right. Neither one of them. But one thing for certain, it only takes a bike to be a biker. Get out and, get out and be one, bitches. <laughs>